Match 19 of the Big Bash, Sydney Thunder against the Melbourne Stars. They started in similar fashion this season, so it should be a cracker of a game. Let's build our fantasy team on my 11th circle fantasy pick on ESPN Rick Info. I'm Rono Kapoor and Mike Hussey is all set to join me. Right, let's go to our pro tip first one. We saw one of the games of the season already between uh, Melbourne Stars and Sydney Sixers. Our pro tip says that the Stars have defeated Sydney Thunder in all of their last five encounters. So prefer more Stars players in your lineup. Do you like these sorts of matchup based pro tips, us? Where you know one team's got the vote over the other? Yeah, I didn't know that stat. That's, that's a good one, I guess. Uh, but the Thunder have been playing some excellent cricket. Uh, mm. and, and the Stars had a demoralizing loss in their last game. So they'll be looking to hit back. Thunder playing with confidence. I'm a bit torn on this one. Obviously, I played for the Sydney Thunder, so and I'm a Sydney Thunder fan, so I want them to win. Mm. But my brother, he's coaching the Melbourne Stars, so uh, I'd like to see them do pretty well too. <laughs> I think on paper, the Melbourne Stars are a better team, but the Sydney Thunder are playing with a lot of confidence. I'm not sure about Nathan coulton He had a, a calf injury in the last match, so he might not be playing, so keep that in mind. That will weaken the Stars. All right, brilliant. Let's go to player availability. And uh, Nathan coulton is someone that Mike Hussey has already pointed out. Could miss out due to injury. Now, Marcus Stoinis and Nick Maddinson, though, will be available after missing out last game. That's for the Melbourne Stars. For the Sydney Thunder, Sam Billings is likely to be available after completing quarantine protocols. Let's go to uh, uh, our team. And for that quick reminder, on the My11 Circle Fantasy app, 100 credits for every user to build their fantasy team. Four categories of players to choose from. Batsmen, bowlers, wicket keepers, and all-rounders. Every player's individual credit value is listed on the app. You can pick a maximum of seven players from one team in any given contest. And we'll throw in four substitute options for you towards the end of this video as well. Our captain choice is going to be Glenn Maxwell. Let's put his bowling efforts aside last game. We know that Glenn Maxwell with the bat and with ball is uh, someone who can get you heaps of points more often than not. He is the third leading run scorer in this tournament with 156 runs in three innings, striking at over 150. And since the eighth edition of the Big Bash against Sydney Thunder, he scored 144 runs at an average of 48. So you can get you some uh, serious points as an all-rounder in the Melbourne Stars captain. Vice-captain option, Nicholas Puran. It wouldn't take long for Nicholas Puran to uh, increase uh, his personal value in our fantasy suggestions. He is a keeper batter. You know that he's uh, in some serious touch. We saw that in the CPL, we saw that in the IPL, and we're now seeing it in the Big Bash. After that last game where he scored a 26-ball 65, it was one of the most standout performances in recent BBL memory. Strike rate of 170 in this year's IPL also tells you Nicholas Puran has the goods wherever he plays against whatever type of bowling. Captains give you double the points, vice-captains 1.5 times, so pick them carefully. We've gone for Maxwell and Puran. Callum Ferguson features as uh, another top pick suggestion. He's been the leading run scorer for Sydney Thunder this season. Just over, just under 150 runs in four games, striking at just under 120. But at the Monaco Oval, no one has scored more runs than him. 242 runs in eight games, averaging over 40. Oliver Davies is there, the all-rounder from the Sydney Thunder. He is a former Australia under-19 vice-captain. And he has turned heads with some sensational hitting this season. Marcus Stoyne is too. You can never keep him out when he's available for the Melbourne Stars. We know the kind of impact he had last season and we know he could be uh, a match winner in any given day for his side. Uh, rounding up our top picks, we've got Glenn Maxwell as captain, Nicholas Puran as vice-captain, Callum Ferguson, Oliver Davies and Marcus Stoinis wrap up our top picks. Some of them picked themselves, has huh? Nicholas Puran's value has gone up in that one innings, rightly so? Oh, without doubt. I, I like your picks of captain and vice-captain there. Maxwell, he's the complete package. Uh, as you mentioned, you know, he can dominate with the bat. Uh, he helps out with the ball and picks up some uh, good wickets. And he's always in those hot spots in the fields for a few extra bonus points as well. But it's not too often that someone like uh, Nicholas Buran just completely outshines uh, Glenn Maxwell, even when Glenn Maxwell gets 70 runs and not many balls. Nicholas Buran's innings the other night was absolutely incredible. What a talent, what a player. Uh, it's hard to go past him as captain. So I wouldn't be surprised if a few people flip those around. And the mm. one smoky that I would consider is from the Thunder, and it's Daniel Sams. He's obviously, uh, you know, very good with the ball and uh, bowls those difficult overs, but he's been in top form with the bat as well. He's come in on a couple of occasions and, and just dominated, and he goes big. He'll hit you plenty of sixes, plenty of fours if he gets going. So uh, don't discount Daniel Sams as well. Yeah, I mean, there's a good chance we'll find room for Dan Sams in our team. He normally features in our top picks, but Hussey points out rightly that you've seen Dan Sams not just with ball, but with bat. 
this season in the Big Bash. Let's go to some differential picks. We stick with our theme of backing more Melbourne Stars players after our pro tip. Liam Hatcher and Nick Larkin feature. Now, as far as Liam Hatcher goes, the 24-year-old exciting pace bowler. He's impressed with uh, a 3-for-28 in his debut game against the Sydney Thunder this season. He's carried that form on in the next few games already. He's become the joint leading wicket taker in this year's Big Bash. Eight wickets in just three games. Excellent average of under 10. You've got Nick Larkin there as uh, a batting option from the Stars. 30 years of age, has developed a special liking towards the Sydney Thunders team over the years. He's managed uh, to get 238 runs in six innings of an, at an average of nearly 80 and a strike rate in excess of 143. So keep Nick Larkin in your calculations. He likes playing against Sydney Thunder. Looking at our uh, differential picks, Liam Hatcher and Nick Larkin and our full team sees Nicholas Puran as a potential captain or vice captain option. We've gone for vice captain. He's our keeper option too. Callum Ferguson, Alex Hales, Nick Larkin, Glenn Maxwell again should feature in as a captain or vice captain choice. Daniel Sams, who Mike Hussey is backing very strongly. Oliver Davies, Marcus Stoinis, Liam Hatcher, Adam Zampa, and Adam Milner from the Sydney Thunder. Let's go to the substitutes bench. Tanvir Sangha is there, so to Usman Khawaja, Hilton Cartwright and Big Billy Stanlake. An alternate scenario, if Nick Larkin doesn't play, then you could consider Hilton Cartwright. Any more suggestions you'd like to throw in? Any of those substitute names that you'd like to fit into your 11 house? Well, it's pretty hard to pick a uh, 111 in this particular uh, game. Well, it's, both teams are just chock full of talent and quality players. Uh, you know, having Usman Khawaja as one of your substitutes, he's due for some runs, I must admit. But uh, Tanvir, what about him in the last match? Picked up four wickets. He'd score you a lot of points. Um, Leggies, they can sometimes go for a few runs, but they always seem to pick up wickets. So I wouldn't discount bringing him onto the field. Uh, just incidentally about Hatcher and, um, and Nick Larkin, they're both Sydney boys. So they know the Sydney Thunder players pretty well, uh, especially the guys obviously from New South Wales. And Liam Hatcher incidentally used to play for the Thunder. Uh, so he will have inside information on all those guys and he'll be so determined to do well against that team. So good picks, I think, Larkin and Hatcher in your playing 11. All right, Hussey, thank you very much. You'll get more from Michael Hussey as the Big Bash rolls on. This was uh, our uh, data, insight, analysis, fantasy, uh, expert opinion, whatever you'd like to help you pick your fantasy team. Make sure you check in with uh, Team News uh, for the playing 11s and we'll be back with plenty more with uh, Mike Hussey on my 11 Circle Fantasy Pick on ESPN Trick and Four.